what I have here is a brake pad wear sensor cable and this is to a 2016 Land Rover LR4 HSE. In most cases uh, these sensor cables are going to be pretty similar on the majority of vehicles that do have them. This is the one that came off the vehicle and this is the one that is new. And if you look at the top of this one it's got a nub and if you look at the top of this one it's smooth it might be difficult to see in this video but right at the very top is two shaved pieces of metal and at one point that was looped around so it continued that is gone and the way that this works is if this is on your vehicle and the rotor is right here what happens is as the brake pad wears down it also wears this nub off the brake pad wear sensor and once it shaves that metal piece off the continuity is lost which in turn tells you inside the vehicle that your brake pads are worn. This doesn't necessarily represent or tell you how much longer you have on the brake pads because you can probably go a little bit longer. I wouldn't go too long, but I mean, it's going to continue to wear and it's going to continue to wear this piece down as well as the brake pad. On the inside of this piece is a metal horseshoe. This metal horseshoe right here fits in there. And then that's what keeps it inside the notch on the brake pad. This is a two pin, two wire sensor cable. So you have two pins here, two wires. The two wires come all the way up into this elbow piece that goes on the brake pad. Here you can see the two wires going into the elbow. This is the elbow on the brake pad wire sensor. And what I did is remove this high temp plastic that was around it. And you can see this, this portion right here is where that little nub is on the top of the cable. this nub right here and it shaved across where it is disconnected and when I took it apart I thought it was kind of weird because they do have a twist in the wire here which I thought would make it keep the continuity as if it was never disconnected but these wires are coated so they aren't physically touching each other so when this does get severed here that's where the loss of connectivity is this is now the entire elbow and there is a crimped piece right here but this is the same exact wire up here that is up here it's just looped through this little piece right here that's crimped is inside the plastic high temp plastic elbow so that's what they would look like side by side. This is the, the high temp plastic elbow that was on it. It can definitely handle some pretty high temperatures. I was using a heat gun on the highest setting. It doesn't melt, but once it gets to a certain point, I was able to just take these pliers and it would, I would just squeeze on it and it would crumble. 